And let let's see the uh, the ghost fort grip. So thumb to the side. You're on the side. Can you make it go either way? Or does it or is it a gyro it's a gyro fork? Yeah. And I've I've noticed that some pitchers can make can make their fork ball or splitter go in either direction. Have you ever experimented with that? Yeah, I've experimented trying to move it different ways. I've tried a lot of things, but what I've come to is as long as it drops the, the way it does, throw it hard down the middle and just let it fall off, um, there are, it's not going to get hit very much. That's from experience. I haven't, it hasn't been hit very much. So that's what I work on. Just, throwing it as hard as I can and letting it drop as much as it can. Does it come off one finger differently? Um, how, how does it come off your hand when you it see it in slow motion? In order to get that gyro spin, I focus on making sure the wrist doesn't lay back like a fastball, making sure it's firm and straight and so that it can, it doesn't, it doesn't fall back like that, not like that, but stays firm and rolls off the finger with the gyro spin. Does every once in a while, does that spin shift, making the ball do different things? The best would be that downwards gyro spin that that was just shown right there. Um, but sometimes mechanically, if I'm a little bit off, it'll spin a little bit differently and go different ways. But yeah, the best is that downwards gyro. Brandon, section 139? Yeah, you can see my hair from there. Got it. Yeah, it's not a real ghost. It's not a ghost.